Welcome back. Joining me now are the creative minds behind the independent film Seven Kills, Three Songs, and a Banana. Hi, everyone. I'll let you go down and introduce yourself. My name is Brandon. I play Egan. My name is Sean Sanders. I play Derek. My name is Madison Zabawa, and I play Jill. My name is Richard Fish, and I'm responsible for this whole mess. I'm the writer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with you. Tell us about this plot and how you came up with it. That's weird. I've been deliberately avoiding telling people about the plot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it came about because I was told, okay, if you want to make a no-budget movie, it has to be horror. So I tried to write a horror movie and quickly discovered that while there's things about horror movies I like, I like doing satire and ridiculous things more, and so that kind of melded into uh, what it is now. Plot-wise, I mean, it's, it's got anything that you would expect a movie called Seven Kills, Three Songs, and a Banana to Have. There's, there's, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's music, there's fruit, there's, there's, there's murder. I mean... Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Everything you would expect, I mean, you hear that all the time, Seven Kills, Three Songs, and a Banana. That's what <laughs> comes to my mind when I think of a movie. Um, <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the inspiration more behind it and, and maybe the characters that led you to, to this. Okay, so I had made a two-hander. I made a feature film that only had two characters and I was one of the people playing one of those characters. So the first thing I wanted to do was make a bigger film. I thought, okay, well, I live in uh, Niagara Falls, so I've got Niagara Falls, I've got Buffalo. Like, how can I take advantage of where I am? So I made a kind of Niagara Falls centered plot and went from there and from networking and being involved in other people's short films I like met a bunch of people and so a lot of these characters I kind of wrote with some of the actors that ended up being in it in mind and then like little things that if I've kind of noticed going around to make it have a nice Western New York feel. feel. I like yeah. it. I mean if you want if you want like a plot plot it's a, it's about a, a girl who is uh, traumatized when her recent ex-girlfriend kills herself and how she deals with it. But this sounds like one of those Oscar bait movies. It's not, it's a fun movie. That's kind of, that's kind of a... Promise is fun, we promise. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a fun movie about suicide. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oops. How was it for you guys as the actors working on this film and being part of this project? Oh my goodness. Um, Thank you, save me. It was, it was very different, but I say that in a positive way. I got the chance to play a part that in real life I would hate this girl so much. She, she's someone that she doesn't think before she speaks and she mm -hmm. says whatever she wants and she doesn't care, but that's not always a good thing mm -hmm. when it comes to this character. She's very out there and not the best person to know, mm -hmm. but it's, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and just being able to work with different people and uh, on a new set every time is always a fun experience. I mean, because the West of New York is those very, has a lot of talent, you know, around and to be a part of this project and play a character like Derek, you know, is like Maddie said, someone you're not used to playing, you know, he's just a guy who loves to party and like loves girls. <laughs> so that's pretty much in a nutshell. So it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I think this is the first like full length comedy that I've been a part of. I've done a lot of uh, other stuff, uh, but this is the first comedy and uh, I actually got to bring out my DJ gear and uh, oh. uh, a lot of lighting, a lot of setup. <laughs> it was fun, all hands on deck. Now you mm -hmm. guys are putting on a free premiere for this. Tell us about that and what we can expect. Well, that all came about because I was, I, I kind of started making this movie twice. I started once with like no resources at all. And then I wrote a, a grant proposal to ASI, who are a local organization, and I got an arts funding. But part of the condition of that was I had to make it available to everyone. So the way to do that is it's a free community screening and I'd encourage everyone to come because uh, we need the feedback. <laughs> <laughs> when, when and where is it happening? So it's happening at the Niagara Arts and Cultural Center okay. and uh, there was, that was the nonprofit that I chose to partner with. Um, largely because it's in Niagara Falls and so am I, but also because they have a really good large screening venue and they're supportive to filmmakers as well. Like I think, did you make another movie in there? I, I know a yes, lot of people I make did. movies yeah. in there. I yeah. have a, I actually brought Richard on um, as an extra in one of my other films that we shot at the NAC. Nice. Um, and that's when we started to get involved with Seven Kills. Okay, okay, so how, pe how can people go out and support you and see this? 
At the moment, you have one shot. It's uh, Saturday one night. One shot exists. Mm -hmm. This Saturday at 7 p.m. You can come along, and uh, as we've said, it's free. Um, we'll take donations, but you don't have to if you want to. Maybe pay if you like it. Like, come along, and if you're like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> buy some merch. I mean, oh, my time. Buy some it. fun banana merch. I'm <laughs> sure it's going to be awesome, guys. Come, viewers, on, come and meet us. <laughs> the premiere is up for Seven Kills, Three Songs, and a Banana is this Saturday at the Niagara Cultural Center. You can find details at their website, thenacc.org. Thanks again, everyone, for coming in. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.